Any game bearing the Deus Ex name sets a high bar for itself, and yet Deus Ex Mankind Divided clears it handily. The follow-up to Human Revolution retains the strong gameplay blueprint of choice-driven stealth RPG gameplay that defines the series, but its superlative map and mission designs elevate it to new highs. Mankind Divided, even more so than its predecessors, succeeds in making me feel like a cybernetically enhanced super agent that no security system can withstand. The handful of powerful new augments range from an arm-mounted blade launcher to an omnidirectional propulsion system, and the thoughtfully crafted environments help bring out their true potential. For instance, the Icarus Dash is a fine escape tool, and it's a great gap closer for swiftly knocking out guards. But it wasn't until I started noticing subtle new routes I could take towards objectives that I was truly sold on it. The remote hacking AUG is probably the most transformative upgrade, allowing you to manipulate everything from laser grids and mines to ladders and window shutters, opening up possibilities I had no idea were there upon first glance. This harmonious relationship between mechanics and environmental design extends to the returning augments as well, lending a sense of value and purpose to even the most basic seeming of upgrades. Being able to leap, sneak, muscle, or hack my way into almost anywhere in this gorgeously realized cyberpunk version of Prague wouldn't mean much if there wasn't anything there worth discovering, but my feats of high-tech infiltration were always rewarded in one way or another. An innocent-looking shop might have a secret passage leading to a storage locker full of valuable items, or sneaking through a neighboring apartment might lead to you stumbling into one of the meaty multi-part side quests. None of these are simple fetch quests or hit jobs, and like everything in Mankind Divided, all of them can be completed in a wide variety of different ways. None of this would mean anything if Mankind Divided weren't enjoyable to actually play, but developer Eidos Montreal made many smart improvements to the moment-to-moment -moment experience. A new cover-to-cover -cover movement system and the ability to mantle up ledges makes getting around much smoother, and the UI does a much better job of informing you when you've been seen, who sees you, and how close you are to inciting a gunfight. Even better, when things do escalate, gunplay feels precise, and resetting the situation is much more manageable. Where in Human Revolution being seen would almost invariably plunge encounters into total chaos, Mankind Divided allows a well-equipped and prepared player to feel powerful even when bullets begin to fly. The only real criticism I can level at Mankind Divided is that, especially in the wake of the events that close Human Revolution, its plot is decidedly less ambitious. It's still well produced, with dutiful, believable performances by the entire voice cast. If Interpol needs to learn the same lesson we taught the police, we will be glad to teach them. But the story feels like it's stuck in second gear. Rather than a steady ramping up of ever bigger, more ominous threats, the 20 to 30 hour campaign remains tightly focused on discovering the truth behind a bombing that occurs right off the bat. It ends up feeling more like a first episode of a potentially great TV show rather than a complete feature length film in that sense. Aside from the smaller feeling plot, Deus Ex Mankind Divided improves upon its excellent predecessor in every single way. Its impeccably designed environments are flush with possibility, remaining completely coherent while supporting a wide variety of routes and character builds. It never stopped challenging me or rewarding my curiosity and creativity, pushing me to thoroughly explore its beautifully ruined world and carefully weigh my every decision. For more on all things Deus Ex, keep it right here on IGN.